Dragging your player's tokens all the way across the map because they walked up some stairs sucks, but don't worry because there is a solution. First thing you're going to need is the levels mod and the walls height mod by Mr. Ripper, who is a legend in the Foundry mod community. Once you have those downloaded and installed, we will need our multi-level map. Shooting over to Dungeon Draft, my go-to map making tool, we have this one. Don't judge it too much, I made it in a hurry, though bonus points if you know what this is. With this tool, I can see the ground floor, I can see the second floor, and even comparing, um, I can see what it looks like with them stacked on top of each other, and I have a roof. When I import each of them, I wanna make sure that I have the terrain pulled off. I'm then gonna go to export. I'm gonna crop. I wanna crop from the roof view because it has the entire map in there. Now I'm gonna go to export. I'm gonna go one square outside so that we have the shadows from the building in there. And then I'm going to export each of my levels. Let's start with the ground level. I'm also gonna turn off grid because I just like doing that. So once you have that set, you can export them. Uh, you can do your ground level as the universal VTT and pull it in with the walls and lights, how I showed in a previous video. Uh, but I prefer doing web P uh, and just using the background image for grass and the terrain and the building specifically just being a web P file. Um, so let's go ahead and export all of those. So once you have the mods enabled, the first thing to note is this tool right here with the little levels icon that you should see. When you click this, you'll get a little uh, navigator over here. This tells Foundry what level you're wanting to work on. Um, I'm going to have two levels, and so I'm going to edit. Set this one to ground, which is going to look at zero to nine feet. And then I'm gonna have my second floor, which is gonna look at 10 to 11 feet. Uh, pro tip, don't have them cross over. Have one end at nine, the next one start at 10. Um, I also don't know why I put 11, this should have said 19. There we go. So when this is up, it's selecting what level I'm wanting to look at. When I close out of it, it's looking at all levels, but I wanna pull in my ground floor, my lo first floor. So we are going to come over here. We are going to have foreground selected click on this button right here. And I exported them at 150 pixels, so I'm just going to select that. And this does this be looking like my bottom floor. So let's go ahead and pull that in. You can see that I have this selected from zero to nine feet. So when I pull it in by default, this is zero to nine feet. When I make the walls, it will also be at zero to nine feet. Let's go ahead and pull in the second floor. All right, once you have those on top of each other, I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to select enable roof and I'm gonna pull a roof on this bad boy. All right, so bringing my navigator back up, you saw when it's closed, you kind of see the everything on top of each other. You're looking at everything at once. And now things are pulling up correctly. Again, I close it out, I'll see the roof. All right, so once you have your walls in, as you can see, each of these walls goes from 10 feet to 19 feet, and all of these walls go from zero feet to nine feet. Uh, don't, don't judge my placement, uh, it doesn't matter. So I pull in one of my player tokens so that you can see what happens. Um, now, if they got to this point and said, hey, I wanna go up these stairs, I could then bump their elevation up to 10 feet and pull them up to the upstairs. And now they can walk around upstairs but it would kind of suck for them every time to have to say, hey, I wanna go upstairs, I wanna go downstairs. Awkward. So we have a solution for that as well. On the ground floor, we are gonna go over to this draw tool. We are going to have this thing selected so that it knows when I drop this square down, it is supposed to function as stairs. And I'm going to draw just a little box here. Uh, some things that I like to do uh, one, I don't like to see any of this stuff, so uh, I make it all very small. And the stairs go automatically from zero to nine. Then I'm gonna bump up to this floor, and in that same spot, I'm going to put another box. 
And I'm gonna do the same things with this one. I'm gonna drop the opacity way down and I'm gonna drop the font way down. And we can also see that it's technically going from negative one to 10. Uh, you can just leave that. So now what we should see, if we are on the ground floor, is when the player walks, it automatically bumps them up a floor. So the stairs operate how you would expect them to, uh, except for just one little thing. When this guy walks upstairs, when he walks upstairs, the tokens at the bottom floor disappear. Uh, it's still better than dragging them all the way across the map, but there's room for improvement. So let's go ahead and fix that. And so what I'm gonna do is go back to this drawing tool. I'm gonna unselect this because I want to make a hole. And this hole is going to fill this entire area. And I want the hole to go from zero, but I actually want it to go up to 19. I want it to go all the way up to the ceiling. I also, uh, if you don't get rid of the lines or drop the opacity, uh, you see the lines on there. There might be a better way to fix it. Anyway, so the lines are on there. I just like dropping the opacity down so that I don't see it. Though, I guess you could also just take the text and uh, delete it and bam, now it's just invisible. Yeah, let's just, if you delete the text, it goes away. All right, so now with that hole there, if we click back over to the player view, the players can now walk upstairs and the tokens are still down there. Uh, you can mess with the settings uh, and have them get smaller when they're on different levels, um, but you can still see the tokens down there. And if this guy decides to walk out of view, he disappears. Well, that's it. That's how you can use the levels mod to do multi-level buildings. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Did I get my outro done before you left?